Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. Once again, outstanding guest. And we have Ms. Joyce Sampson here. I mean, she's from the Circle of Rights Incorporated. And you know what it deals with? It deals with strokes. You know, most people don't realize what a person having a stroke. We have a young lady here, Miss Richmond. She's working the camera now. She had a stroke, and she's working here in the studio. And we have Mrs. Uh, uh, Joyce Sampson here, and she, this circle of rights. Mrs. Sampson, tell us, what is this circle of rights about? You talk, you're a program manager for the African American uh, program development. That's, yes, that's your sir. position. Yes, now, now sir. tell us what, what you really do. All right, well. <laughs> I, first of all, I want to thank you so much for having me on your show because I believe that the more information that I can get out, it can prevent people from having strokes. Now, Great. That's fabulous. <laughs> yes. And um, Circle of Rights is a small organization that was created by two stroke survivors. One had her stroke when she was nine years old. Nine? Yes. And I, the I, other I, one. First time I've heard of a uh, person having a stroke at nine. Yes, yeah. the um, usual age, mm -hmm. about 65. Right. That's what we all think. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yes. And you know, the thing is that um, young people today, in the last 10 to 20 years, the evident, the um, stroke is happening in younger people, school age children, mm -hmm. more often than in the past. And that has to do with um, the higher rates of diabetes among children. Mm -hmm. Type two diabetes is growing among kids. Obesity, um, even high blood pressure, things like that. For young adults, they aren't taking care of themselves either. They're not getting physical fitness. Their cholesterol is high. The high blood pressure, that's gone out of control. So increasingly, Stroke is not the purview of the elderly anymore. No, because most people uh, think that way. And uh, what's happening with you, your uh, group now, what do you, you actually, you have programs that a person has to join, or how do you get people involved? This you know, is how a, lot, a lot of people don't want uh, other people say, well, I had a stroke, you know. Well, you know, we try to find places where mm -hmm. people, we have a captive audience, mm -hmm. like to senior citizen homes, mm -hmm. um, independent living communities, senior rec centers, and um, I try to get younger people involved so well, I can do well, that's what prevention. I'm, that's what I'm talking about. How do you get the educators to make them realize that it's just important uh, uh, for them to have someone lecturing on uh, preventing strokes as anything else. You're right, because no one wants to talk about it. Right. My brother that's, 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 refuses that's my to get yeah. on my Facebook page, my stroke education page, because mm -hmm. he doesn't want to hear it. Right, exactly. And um, what I do is I, I try to focus on something that people don't find so scary. Mm -hmm. I talk about nutrition. Yeah. Then I sneak the stroke yeah. education in there. Because, see, the way the stroke has hit the society and everything, it's negative. Mm -hmm. You know, that means that, hey, if you had a stroke, something was wrong with you. You know what I mean? And that's not necessarily so. It depends on your health habits. You know, and it does in your genetics. Yeah, and your genetics. And then if, and what most of us are guilty of is not telling our the children, the genetic, genetics, that grandpa or grandmom or a cousin so-and-so had a stroke, that it's in the family, so you have to be careful of your diet. That's true. Um, where's mm -hmm. that pamphlet I had from the American Heart Association? Mm -hmm. They realize that this is a big issue. They even have pamphlets talking about how you, why it's important mm -hmm. to keep up with your family history. Right. And um, the thing is, I hadn't not many risk factors of a stroke. Well, let's say they don't, the people here don't know. You're surviving my story. yourself, right? Yes, I yeah. had seven strokes in mm -hmm. 2009 mm -hmm. within two months. Mm -hmm. I couldn't read, write, talk. Yeah, you were showing me some of the scribbling yes. and that you were trying to uh, communicate. Yes, in the with, hospital. Uh, to, in, in the hospital. Yes. You, uh, that was the only way that you could communicate. And fortunately, I was able to to understand, because a lot of people who experience aphasia, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, they can't they can't talk, but they can't get the words out. Mm -hmm. They need to get out. Like they might say um, the Ed Brown show, and they might say the trip to the Bahamas mm -hmm. because nothing is connecting anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things about cognitive damage that's very important to me. When I was at um, when I first got out of the nursing home, <clears throat> I had um, I had to go to the bank. I didn't know mm -hmm. I couldn't count till mm -hmm. I went to the bank. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh my goodness, I couldn't count the money. Mm -hmm. and I used to have to take little sticky notes and put it on each bill. No. No so kidding. I wouldn't lose count as I was going. Mm -hmm. So that's um. And back to the circle of rights, what we do to mm -hmm. educate people. We what have you, a series of um, presentations. Oh, I see. That's how you get it, and and you work through the the churches or the community right. centers. Right, churches that, is good. Yeah. Except uh, a lot of problems with churches, big churches. They mm -hmm. have their own doctors and nurses there and they believe that they can do it all <laughs> they themselves. They can do it themselves. Yes, and they don't really right. so they, appreciate. They, so so they, they don't invite you. <laughs> They're right. They don't invite outsiders. But uh, sometimes they do. Mm -hmm. But um, one of my favorite organizations that I worked with was um, Families Foremost, mm -hmm. a department of the Mental Health Association of Montgomery County. And these girls, they are anywhere between 18 and 20. Mm -hmm. And they are uh, single mothers who dropped out of school. So Families Foremost has a program where they teach them how to pass their GED, mm -hmm. parenting skills, mm -hmm. and they stay all day. Mm -hmm. And they have a component of the program that's a health program. Mm -hmm. It's an hour long, and they invite different people from the community to come right. and give presentations. Mm -hmm. Well, I start with um, high blood pressure. Well, first I start with what is a stroke, mm -hmm. statistics, and why it is so important to learn about stroke. And then I, one thing I like to start with with the young people is nutrition because they are usually, well, young right. adults. Well, that's what I was saying. The young people, you know, uh, uh, we have uh, made such a, a, a bad image of stroke to the point that uh, people hide the symptoms. Right. See? And you know with young people, when police see a young person having a stroke, mm. they think they're drunk. Right. They put them in jail exactly. and don't get any help for the people. Yeah, you know that, what was it, New York or where they uh, uh, police arrest this uh, Man, uh, and they gave him With a chokehold choke and he yeah. passed. And and the fact that uh, uh, if a person is uh, has the symptoms, uh, they are misinterpreted by the police. And generally, what I've always said, the police they need training in handling people in situations like that. The first thing they do, if you resist and you're having a stroke or mm -hmm. you don't understand, first thing then they want to do is, is shoot you or beat you. <laughs> right. One, one of the two or both. Right. You know, and, and uh, that's the thing that I emphasize that uh, uh, the law enforcement, they need to have training handling. I mean, they like to be called professionals mm -hmm. and they professionals and that, but they do not have training in handling an uh, individual that have problems Let like a stroke. Let me ask you something. Um, when you hear stroke, mm -hmm. what do you think that you're going to see? When somebody tells you somebody has a stroke and they come in before they get there, what are the things that you think as a person that you're going to see, the, the evidence now, of it? The, the first thing is the physical evidence. Mm -hmm. And then uh, possibly the speech. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they're incoherent. Right. You know, uh, uh, just like if I tell them, hey, put your hands up like a policeman would do or something. Well, they don't understand that. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? And they resist. See, and, and the resistance come from the physical aspects of mm -hmm. uh, when a person touches you in a negative way, it's normal for you to Resist physically. Right. And the thing is, when people see, think you had a stroke, look at um, Afrian Camarilla. Mm -hmm. A beautiful walks in and, you know, mm -hmm. she looks 
fine. Like there's nothing wrong. Yeah. Like me, no one knows that I had a stroke, all mm. those strokes. But what people don't understand is the cognitive damage that comes with a stroke. Mm -hmm. Some people believe that, you know, it's a speech. Yeah. You can't talk or right. there's, you know, word retrieval and that kind of thing. But a lot of things happen like, um, like memory, concentration. Mm -hmm. they, um, there's an organization called um, Speech, American Speech and Hearing Association. Mm -hmm. And they put out this little newsletter and it's about cognitive damage problems following mm -hmm. right hemisphere. One of the things they talk about is left side neglect. Mm -hmm. um, if you, I had never heard of that. So what happens if you can put a plate of food in front of someone who has left side neglect, they will not, they will ignore the total left side of the plate mm -hmm. and they will only see the right. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with their vision. Mm -hmm. It is because of the way their brain is working. Mm -hmm. So, and people don't understand the things um, that happen to you in like Metro, you know, mm -hmm. the Metro yes. people. Mm -hmm. I ride the metro sometimes, and it's very important to train people in the banks, um, the metro, because they serve people who have invisible disabilities, and they don't know, know and they don't understand. It. Right. When I first got on a bus, I almost fell down. It was crowded. I couldn't get a seat. Mm -hmm. And then I don't have a walker. I mm -hmm. don't have a cane. So I can't get a seat in mm -hmm. the handicapped mm -hmm. because no one is going, they don't understand. I understand. Right. Yeah. So... I have, um, I'm very shaky. I have mm -hmm. vestibular issues, mm -hmm. which is very similar to vertigo. Mm -hmm. So if the bus moves very quickly, I'm liable to fall down in the aisle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because right. I can't, sure. I can't. Balance. Yes. Yeah. Balance and so is no affected. one knows these mm -hmm. things just by looking at mm -hmm. you. No, physically. Yes. Right. Well, let's see that those are the things that I was trying to emphasize with law enforcement mm -hmm. officers. They should be trained. Uh, that's a phase. They don't look at that as as an important thing because people have different problems. Right. It's, it's, it's not just they, they're looking at the criminal aspects right. of it. If you're not behaving in a way, uh, a normal way, then the only way that you're, you're a criminal. You know? Right. See? And they need to tr yeah. be trained. And yeah. I believe right. that everybody, everybody who has, who deals with people, the mm -hmm. public. Right. They need to understand right. what's exactly. going on. Exactly. Anyone that deals with the public. Mm -hmm. I in the bank, when I used to go to the bank, uh -huh. I used to ask for the manager. Uh -huh. I you don't know how many times people it, were rude to me yeah. because they why do you need a manager right. to take care of your right. banking needs? <laughs> for one, I can't stand in the line. Uh, right. <laughs> Even though I don't have but a you cane can't stand or anything, in the line. I can't do it. Right. I've got better now, uh -huh. but in the beginning I could not stand by myself. I had uh -huh. to hold on to someone. Hold on to something. Yeah. And then I couldn't count, so I couldn't take care of my banking needs mm -hmm. and I had no one to go with me. Mm -hmm. So I used to go to the manager. Mm -hmm. The managers were very nice once I got to them. Yes. Um, but, it uh, took but, but usually the uh, employees keep you yes. away from the manager. Which you, the, the first thing they think is something negative. Right. You, you know, instead of uh, uh, service. That's right. Uh, you, you're asking for the manager because evidently you want a special service. Right. You see, because you know that the clerk <laughs> cannot handle that. Right. And they think, they look and at it they like, think you it's know. personal. Yes. <laughs> what did I do? You know, that's the first thing they think. What did I do? Say nothing to him. You I know. know. <laughs> and so that's what's important. Um, actually, mm. I went to a beautician. Um, I never go to the beautician. I only went for your show, I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> hair looks nice. <laughs> but um, they were, I was telling them about the stroke. I was so happy to be there. They were very professional. Mm -hmm. And um, and he, I told him about the strokes, and he said, you know, someone just in his family just mm -hmm. had a stroke. He said, I would love for you to come and talk to my employees. Mm -hmm. He come yes. to find out he was a shop owner. I didn't right. know. Right. Because I'm always telling everybody, mm -hmm. whoever I can find, mm -hmm. that's what I'm telling. Because, you know, most people, I can't remember what the percentage is now, but most people do not know the common warning signs of no, stroke. No, because they, they really vary. They come uh, from uh, physical to mental mm -hmm. uh, 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 and sometimes the combination of both. Right. 
Um, I a girl told me she was walking sideways. Mm -hmm. She couldn't control herself. Mm -hmm. She couldn't walk straight. Mm -hmm. And um, the symptoms went away, but um, she was possibly having a TIA, mm -hmm. which is um, TIA. A what is that? That's a transient <laughs> ischemic attack. Mm -hmm. There are um, three different kinds of strokes. Uh, ischemic stroke is the most prevalent. About 87% of all strokes are ischemic strokes. Ischemic means when the blood clot or plaque mm. that builds mm. up from cholesterol mm -hmm. packs up so much and it blocks the blood flow, the oxygen, mm -hmm. from the brain. Once you block the brain's oxygen, brain cells die. Mm -hmm. And millions of brain cells die every couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. I have the figures on that. Mm -hmm. but um. The longer you take to get help, the more brain cells die. Mm. That's why I'll bring you to the FAST test, F-A-S-T. Mm -hmm. And when you see somebody you think is maybe having a stroke, look at their face. See if it's drooping on one side. Mm -hmm. Ask them to smile. And if their smile is crooked, mm -hmm. so that's F. For mm -hmm. the arms, ask them to raise their arms if one drifts down. Mm -hmm. That's a sign. Mm -hmm. If they have any paralysis anywhere on their body, usually one side of the body, mm -hmm. that's um, a big sign. Now, time is crucial because you have between two and three hours to get to the hospital after the initial onset of symptoms mm -hmm. because they can't give you the clot buster drug after that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure why they don't. They can't, mm -hmm. but they can't. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, they... That's the limitation on that. The, uh, uh -huh. And it depends on uh, where you are. Uh, but really, you, you, you know, you could be at home. I was asleep you know? when I had, I woke up and couldn't yeah. talk. Yeah, right. I didn't even know. I mm -hmm. was, the only reason that I knew is because I tried to open up my email mm -hmm. and all of my... Um, I couldn't type my email address, mm -hmm. and I said, what is going on? Mm -hmm. And so I, um, I figured it was my third stroke, though, mm -hmm. so I knew that yeah, I yeah, needed you were, a, you're a <laughs> I was used to it. Yeah, yeah you were uh, yeah. sensitive to it. Yeah. And, uh, and so, sensitive to yes, it. Yes, and yeah. so I said, I better get out of here. Mm -hmm. So I left the house, and I had a bad signal in the house, so I went outside. I called my sister, and I couldn't. When she answered, all I could see was that 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 that, that dead battery mm -hmm, sound, mm -hmm. and um, that was it. I could walk. Mm -hmm. I walked around the house to to wait for her. I was afraid to walk on the sidewalk because mm -hmm. I didn't know what was going to happen next. I didn't know if I was going to collapse. Mm -hmm. You know, and the thing is, your brain is functioning normally most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, so you know what's happening to yourself. But it's, the brain is out of whack. It can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. um, red lights. I used to try to cross the street. I, I almost got hit by cars because I didn't know red. Well, I did know red meant mm -hmm. stop. Mm -hmm. But the thing was, I had brain damage on all sides of my brain. Mm -hmm. And so when I saw red, I, a part of my brain knew that that meant stop. Mm -hmm. But the part of my brain that was damaged, it that controlled my movement. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. It made me walk across the street regardless. Your balance, your balance was gone, huh? Well, my, even my, um, the brain and the ears and the eyes, their, their um, communication C right, was off. Right. They couldn't deal yeah. with each other. Mm -hmm. And they said, okay, one side of my brain said, that says stop. Mm -hmm. The other side that control my movement says, go walk across the street. Mm -hmm. So it made me walk, mm -hmm. even though the other time part of the, my brain, brain just was saying, saying stop. Yes, because yeah. they, they, it was so many brain cells mm -hmm. had died, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the medication, uh, uh, the doctor prescribed medication mm -hmm. when you get these symptoms or, or certain medications for certain symptoms. Yes. And, and, and things like that. How, how, if a person... Ha ha has uh, uh, a tendency to have a stroke, uh, the medication, how do they differentiate between what medicine to take? Well, because I'm not a doctor, I'm not going to try mm -hmm. to answer that yeah, one. Yeah, but, but I'm just saying but. that's that's a problem that 
uh, a person having a stroke will have. Well, Even if know, they have medication, they, they're, they're in a position where they can't distinguish of uh, one medicine may be for one thing and another medicine for something else. That's true. And then there's some drugs that have side effects that cause yeah. you, make you more prone right. that, to having a stroke. Yeah. That's why, that's as you bring a good point, that's why it's very important. Yeah. And black people do not like to go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Right. They, especially black men. Well, well, uh, uh, they have they, the environment that they uh, come from, they, they generally, that wasn't part of surviving, right? You it's know, and like and police. and and always going to the doctor mean money, right? Exactly. And see, they look in terms of money, don't be because they've been deprived in this economic system that we have here. The economic system uh, has a tendency to keep uh, people in uh, a lower economic this uh, is true. bracket, but and due to slavery, uh, the. Uh, and minorities, they are still in that frame of mind. Is that? Uh, but really, they need to change that and have periodic uh, checks. You know uh, what is good about this? There, recently, I don't know how many years, but there's a big conversation about of, across the country about mm -hmm. diversity, mm -hmm. and in medicine and in the treatment of people and minorities not coming forth and getting the drugs and the treatment they need. Right. And for example, the American Heart Association, even the CDC, are at the forefront of trying to make create programs mm -hmm. that encourage people with low incomes mm -hmm. to come. That's where we get our grants from right, in right. Circle of Rights. Yeah. They don't want they don't care the if we talk to right. people with money. Mm -hmm. They want us to reach the people mm -hmm. who who are economically mm -hmm. disadvantaged. Mm -hmm. Because well, well, that's, that's basically why this health care of uh, uh, the president is so important. Uh, you're getting more people, uh, uh, you know, constant of uh, the, uh, how important it is for routine health care. Right. I mean, you know, just like you go to the store every week, uh -huh. you go certain and have a, some kind of schedule for your health. And, and uh, due to the fact the economics, keep a lot of people from doing it. I know, and it, I have been one of them for many yeah, years. Yeah, right. You know? No, take aspirin and go lay down, uh -huh. you know what I mean? But I'm just saying, that's, 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 that's the thing the president is saying, making that uh, available. Right. See, and that's so very important for all people, not just for, uh, individuals that's that true. Are economic and can afford the drug. Uh -huh. And the drug companies, they're in the cahoots too. Yes. Because they, they really, uh, uh, sometimes the doctor prescribes medicine that you don't need. You know what I mean? Oh, there's so many things in our capitalistic society. That's what happens. The green is in, you know, uh, anything to make money. But what you're doing is just uh, fantastic. The, if I've learned a lot just talking to you at least a few minutes about the stroke and your program, if that's the type of program that you have there, you need to, the churches, every they, they I know. need to they open need to it up. The board. name of that program is uh, uh, Circle of Rights yes. Incorporated. Yes. And you're dealing with the uh, problems of stroke, uh -huh. dealing with it, the types of strokes. And, and the and, prevention, and, how and to the recognize prevention. it. Okay, quickly now, in uh, three minutes, Pre uh, give me some preventive measures. Prevention, watch what you put in your mouth. Mm. Watch Diet, what that's you what eat. we're talking about. That's right. That, that will take care of the obesity, the diabetes, mm -hmm. and the high blood pressure sometimes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then physical fitness. If you mm -hmm. couple diet with physical fitness, Go see your doctor. Know your family history. Yeah, that's it. And I, my cousin, I have so many people that died. Mm -hmm. uh, my cousin, he died of a heart attack at mm -hmm. 48 years old. Mm -hmm. My daddy died of a mm -hmm. massive heart attack. Oh, well, my, see, you have that history. And it's so, I want to wrap this up now. And uh, uh, the, the, uh, remember the, the Circle of Rights Incorporated. It's so important that uh, individuals out there you go, and you watch your diet, and when you have a stroke, uh, I mean, think about it and let your children know what's going on and get that medical examination. Thanks a yes. lot. Uh, uh, Thank you. I have something. I want you to have this. It's oh, a stroke pen. Okay. Power right. to end stroke. Okay. 
This is Samson. You're doing a great job. Thank you. This is, this is wonderful because you, you're hitting the, uh, the basic things that people need to do. And, uh, and, not, and then you're giving them a solution. Right. And that's important, <laughs> yes. Great. This is great. Power to stroke. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Can you consent with me? Imagine what you'd see if every child had a book to read. So the mission is for us to get a book to each and every child. <laughs> so let's join hands, book people unite. On earth, hidden passion. So mama, have a good time. One book can be the first element. Helps to change a life. People unite. Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition.